This is History Animated. During the Philippine Revolution, there was a great and intelligent hero who used his pen to proclaim the freedom of the Filipinos against Spanish colonization and died when he was assassinated on December 30, 1896. A propagandist who started a revolution against the Spanish government to achieve independence and to control the country. His two novels awaken every Filipino to fight for their freedom hero who believes in a peaceful uprising rather than a bloody war. He is commonly known as Dr. Jose Rizal. On June 19, 1861, when Jose Portacio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rialonda was born in the town of Calamba in the province of Laguna, he was a seventh child among the 11 children of Francisco Mercado Rizal and Teodora Alonso y Quintos, a family of Chinese Filipino ancestry. But later, their family changed their surname to Mercado to hide their family origin due to the sentiments against the Chinese at that time. Jose Rizal's family was living in a rented property that was owned by a priest from Dominica that made them become a family of wealthy farmers. When Jose Rizal was young, his parents discovered that he had good intellectual skills and was also a talented boy. That's why, at the age of three years old, he already knew the alphabets, in which his mother became his first teacher. And at the age of five, he already knew how to read and write. And during his high school years, he graduated with the highest honors at the age of 16 at the Ateneo Municipal de Manila. After high school, he then pursued his training of land surveying and completed his training in the year 1877. In the following year, he passed the exam in order to get his license in the field, but unfortunately, because he was only 17 at that time, he was unable to receive a license due to underage. And for that circumstance, it made Jose Rizal decide to take a class and become a medical student at the University of Santo Tomas. However, because of alleging discrimination of Dominican professors against Filipino students, he later decided to quit the school. And then, in May 1882, Without his parents knowing, Rizal went to Madrid. Upon his arrival, he enrolled at the University Central de Madrid as a medical student. Later, in June 1884, he received his medical degree at the age of 23. In the following year, Jose Rizal graduated from the Philosophy and Letters Department. But then again, his journey of being a student still has not yet ended. So after he graduated to the philosophy and letters department, he also took the field of ophthalmology. This is because he was inspired by his mother's progressive blindness. So he studied at the University of Paris and then to the University of Heidelberg to further his knowledge in ophthalmology. And in the year 1887, Jose Rizal finally finished his second doctorate at Heidelberg. Then later, Jose Rizal decided to move to Europe, where he remained there for 10 years. While he was in Europe, he wrote his first novel entitled No Limitangere, Touch Me Not, The Social Cancer, a work which emphasized the dark aspects of Spain colonial rule in the Philippines that particularly focuses more on the role of Catholic friars. However, because of its content, it was banned in the Philippines. Though there were some copies of Nolimi Tangere that was smuggled in, because of this novel, Jose Rizal decided to return to the Philippines during the year 1887. But his stay in the Philippines did not last long when he was targeted by the police due to his novel that offended Catholic Church officials and members despite his apologies. So he returned to Europe and continued to write in which he released 
his second novel, El Filibusterismo, The Reign of Greed, in 1891. He also published an article in La Soleridad, a paper aligned with the propaganda movement towards achieving assimilations with Spain. Eventually, in the year 1892, Osirizal decided to go back to the Philippines even though he was exiled due to his writings that called for reform in Spain. But Jose Rizal did not let his fear overwhelm him because he knew his country needed him more to achieve the chains at the hands of Spain. So he founded the La Liga Filipina in Manila, a non-violent reform society that originated from La Solaridad in the propaganda movement. This video is sponsored by Huion, the global leader in creative tablets manufacturing. And later on, Rizal was exiled to Dapitan on the island of Mindanao for almost four years. Jose Rizal was still in exile, and at that time, he met a girl named Josephine Bracken, in which he fell in love with her. Then later on, they decided to get married, as they requested a license to marry. And fortunately, because of the trouble he had with the church, the request was rejected. And during the year 1896, the Nationalist Secret Society was established called the Katipuna that revolted against Spain. At that time, even though Jose Rizal had no contact with the group and did not approve of its violent methods, he was arrested shortly after. He then went to trial and was convicted of sedition and sentenced to death by firing squad. So on December 30, 1896, at the age of 35 years old. A heartbreaking and tragic event happened in Manila. It was the public execution of Jose Rizal. The death of Jose Rizal created more opposition against the Spanish rule. That's why in 1898, the Philippines was no longer under the control of Spain. However, even though Jose Rizal died, his memories will always be forever in every Filipino's heart. He was one of the nationalist icons in the Philippines, who also helped the country to take a brave step towards independence against the Spaniards. His two novels inspired other Filipinos to seek independence and brought a huge contribution during the early beginnings of the Philippine Revolution. Also, his advocacy to achieve independence through peaceful means rather than violent revolution has been admired by many people. His heroism, compassion, courage, patriotism, and love for the country has been recognized by the Filipino people. Currently, as a remembrance and honor of the national hero of the Philippines, Dr. Jose Rizal. A lot of memorials and statues can be seen not only within the country, but also in selected countries in the world. And in fact, there are some streets, towns, provinces, and even university named after him. And as a commemoration of his great contribution to the country, the Philippines built a memorial park for him which is now referred to as the Rizal Park in Manila.